Another royal wedding is on the horizon, and hopefully this isn't the last joyful wedding performance the world sees from the Wales children. Perhaps Prince Louis will also join in. On June 4, 2024, Prince George's godfather, Hugh Grosvenor, is set to marry his longtime girlfriend, Olivia Henson, at Chester Cathedral in Chester, England. According to the source close to the family, it predicts that the eldest of William and Catherine will most likely be a member of the Duke's wedding party as a page boy. The publication reported that the bride and groom have already mailed out their wedding invitations. Although they haven't disclosed the guest list, the outlet expects the Prince and Princess of Wales and probably their children to be wedding guests. So we can't wait to see what they wear. It will be a debut for the younger royals who looked every bit the part in their stylish outfits. We're sure George, Charlotte, and Louis will look adorable as ever, stealing the show from their parents as they make their way to the church. Except the youngest Wales, this wouldn't be the first time that Prince George and Charlotte are members of a wedding party. These two made their debut as a page boy and bridesmaid when their Aunt Pippa Middleton tied the knot with James Matthews in 2017. For the occasion, George wore a white blouse with gold knickerbockers and cummerbunds and carried a white basket. Charlotte wore an ivory silk dress, a nude pink sash, and she also wore ivory opaque tights, beige soft leather shoes, and a floral headband. Determined to ensure nothing dampened the mood of her sister's wedding day, Princess Catherine was pictured giving her son a scolding. Photos showed Prince George pouting, seemingly embarrassed by the situation, but he perked up again soon after. The following year, the siblings joined the wedding party when his uncle, Prince Harry, one of four pages, Prince George wore a miniature version of the blue and royal's frock coat, worn by the groom, with his royal highness's initial embroidered in gold thread on the shoulder straps. One of six bridesmaids, Princess Charlotte wore a high-waisted ivory silk dress designed by the same designer as the Duchess of Sussex wedding dress, Claire Waite Keller, of the design house Givinci. Her white leather shoes were made by Aquazura and embroidered with her initials and the wedding date. A year after that, they stole the show again at Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's royal nuptials. Seriously, Prince George was a page boy during the ceremony, while Princess Charlotte was a bridesmaid, and they took their duties very seriously. Eugenie dressed as a bridesmaid in white dresses with green multicolored sashes and flowers in the hair. Her page boys wore navy blue pants, white collared shirts, and matching bows. The Duke of Westminster title had deep connections to the royal family. His godfather is King Charles, and he is one of Prince George's godfathers. In addition, his mother Natalia is godmother to Prince William, and Princess Diana was godmother to one of his sisters. In fact, earlier this year, Princess Catherine stepped out with Lady Edwina to open Hope Street. But the parallels with the royals didn't end there. Hugh's fiancée, Olivia Henson, was a strikingly similar background to William's wife, the Princess of Wales. For starters, both Catherine and Olivia were educated at the same high school. The Duke had launched an ambitious new business venture just months before his wedding, set to be one of the biggest society occasions of the year. His property company is launching a £900 million lending business focused on residential development. Grosvenor, which owns about 300 acres of land in Mayfair and Belgravia, as well as major city center developments, is looking to expand its investment into different types of residential properties across the country, as reports like this are likely to include homes for sale, as well as rentals, student and retirement housing. The Duke of Grosvenor's chair, as well as the chair of Westminster Foundation, which focuses on helping vulnerable young children.